I'm Kathy Wood and I'm an assistant professor here at the Duke University School of Nursing. I'm one of the um, principal investigators for the one of the four initial projects that started the ADAPT Center. Um, my project um, is about patients who have atrial fibrillation. And atrial fibrillation is an irregular heart rhythm that um, is from the top part of your heart. It's the most common cardiac arrhythmia and it happens very sporadically. So the episodes um, start suddenly and stop suddenly. And initially, they last a short period of time. It can be anywhere from seconds to five minutes to half an hour. But then as the illness goes on, the episodes become longer and longer and they happen more frequently until patients are in atrial fibrillation instead of normal rhythm constantly. The best treatment that we have is ablation. Parts of the heart are cauterized and, and hopefully the areas that are st stimulating the rhythm are scarred so that those irregular heart cells cannot cause the rhythm in the future. And although this type of procedure is very successful, 99.9% .9 successful in all other arrhythmias, in atrial fibrillation it's anywhere from 40% to 75% of successful. So we still um, aren't there yet with a great a curative treatment, but it's the best we have. And one of the things we know is that post an atrial fib ablation, unlike other types of ablation, patients actually experience more arrhythmias than they had before the procedure. So it can be very discouraging and scary and frustrating for patients when they've made this difficult decision to have an invasive procedure and then it seems to be worse. So, so my project is um, looking at the first six months post-ablation to see exactly what symptoms and um, challenges patients are facing so that we can then come up with interventions that help them manage those um, symptoms.